Funny you should mention that monkey because I'm actually doing a thing called Science Blast at the minute with ESB. It's going to be in the RDS this Ooh. week. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. So basically, we're encouraging primary schools all around the country to ask a scientific question. Par example, what uh, is a gafumbler? What is a gafumbler? If that was a scientific what word. What even am I? What are you? What are you? How can you speak? How can you speak? These are all scientific questions. And the whole idea is that they're trying to encourage kids to ask a simple question, do a project on it, and hopefully it'll lead on to a load of other questions and they'll do a lot of learning along the way. Very good. good. What do you think? Yeah! Now, Monkey, you are a huge fan of science. Would that be fair to I say? I love science. Why? Because without science, I wouldn't be able to speak the English. That's right. We put that thing on your head a while back. The gafumbler. The gafumbler, yeah. And, and all those scientists helped me to speak, and I haven't stopped speaking since. <laughs> don't worry. Yeah, you know an example of science going wrong. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> oh, my exactly. God. This is fantastic. This is why scientists, they never consider the ramifications of their actions. They and just they're always do it. how to do it. They didn't bother <laughs> thinking if they should, why they should do why it. Why they should do yeah, it, exactly. Yeah. So guys, basically over the last few weeks I've been going around uh, primary school primary schools and different classes with my cameraman Luke and Luke has been taking this footage. We're going to show you a little bit about it as well. We've been interviewing kids and it's been very cool. Take a look! So we are here in fifth class in Raharney and I'm here with... Anna Johnson. And? Roisin Connaughton. Anna, what is your scientific question? Can we come up with an algorithm to solve the Rubik's Cube? And how exactly did you figure out the answer to this question? We went around all the classes and our community and asked if we could solve the Rubik's Cube. Okay, so you gave them this survey, was it? Yes. So what are the questions on the survey? Can we? Are you familiar with the Rubik's Cube? Can you solve the Rubik's Cube? If so, how long does it take to solve the Rubik's Cube? And would you like to learn an algorithm to solve the Rubik's Cube? So there you go. Wow. Nice science question there. Brilliant. Their yeah. chairs were so small. I know, yeah. tiny. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, they were bigger than the chair that I'm sitting on right now. Well, yeah, really? but they have, at least they have a budget. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Gina. Cup of tea. We're sitting on your chairs. Thank were, you so much. Were for they saying. hairless monkeys or what were they? They were children. Children. Yeah, children. Small, children. small infant in the in the larval stage of the human species. <laughs> oh, very. They're fun. very dangerous. <laughs> very fast. And wow. they frequently carry sharp objects. I tell you wow. what, they're very, very smart as well. Yes. They are dangerously smart, cunning, In fact, cunning. Why you fear hear the monkey? Fear <laughs> them. Listen, why do you hear the vocabulary that this child has developed doing her scientific experiment? So, Emily, in sixth class in St Mary's Primary School, you guys are trying to find out what the runniest liquid is. How do you tell if a liquid is runny? So you can get a ramp and put like a measuring tape at the side and then like you could put them at the same time like if you were doing honey or like washing up liquid you could do it at the same time but like um, honey is a uh, high vis viscosity and uh, liquid is low because it's so, like, not... water is low viscosity? Yeah. Okay. So then which one goes down first and that's how you know that but like if washing up liquid goes down first and that's low uh, that's low this viscosity because like it goes down faster but like if you do honey and it goes down like it'll take a few minutes but then it'll go stiff and then but like it doesn't go stiff but it's still like runny gotcha. but like you can't just it doesn't roll down so that's high viscosity so then um if you want to put uh, if you want to put treat them down like honey oil and paint 
but pay doesn't really go down because it just stays in a blob because like it's not that like runny. Now, there were some big words wow. there in that clip. Was that English? No, it was English, but it, it was yeah. very clever English. Wow. Very clever. Yeah, so if you're yeah. a teacher, maybe you're a teacher and you're um, a little bit reluctant, maybe you find the subject of science a little bit daunting, daunting. come along to Science Blast next year. <laughs> Have some manners. Sorry. It's okay. So it's probably too late to enrol your class for Science Blast this year, but next year we're out in the RDS again. It's going to be huge. It's been getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So make sure you keep an eye on the Science Blast social pages. I myself will be operating possibly from the Science Blast social pages for the event. I'll be a roving reporter going around interviewing kids, interviewing special Cracking guests. Cracking the scoops. Cracking the scoops all Exposing about science. Exposing the corruption. And guys, the thing about science is, right, you don't need big goggles, big lab coats, lots of equipment, Bunsen burners, measuring drugs. You don't need all that. All you need is a curious mind and a simple question. I have a very curious mind, Sharpie. You do? Like, yeah. wow, like, what is even, like, what is that? Like, what even is that? Yeah. Is that, you ask people, that all the time? Uh, people really don't understand my mind. Scientific exploration, what even is that? What even is Rufus's mind? Monkey, if you were to come up with a scientific question, a simple one that could yeah. lead you on a tangent and, uh, you know, yeah. lead you on a road of all other questions, what all would it right. be? How do you cure fleas? Very good question. Yes. Yeah. So, I, I'm willing to contribute to the funding for this, for the, I, uh, yeah, I, 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 like, we, we should go yeah. into business you together. You want in on that? Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Why, why do we, uh, why? why? Is, uh, I blame Sharpie. Yeah. Honestly, I think that yeah. he, I think he's the source. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> what? It was one of us. It was one of us anyway, right? Who, who was, but the thing is, right, you ask that question, how do we cure fleas? What yeah. are fleas? Where do they come from? How yeah. do animals <laughs> and puppets and presenters develop fleas? <laughs> so you, you have to answer all these questions. By the skipping their flea baths, Sharpie. Yeah. That's how. <laughs> That's how. I don't like cold water. So there you go. So guys, uh, please do follow anything Science Blast related. We'll leave all the links in the description. You can keep an eye on the progress. You can actually get a look. I'll be doing some live videos on Facebook and Instagram next week. It's called Science Blast. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's on Wednesday and Thursday in Dublin. Then we're heading down to Limerick and then it's moving up to Belfast as well later in the year. Tune in, stick around and keep an eye out if you have any uh, interest in taking part next year. Right. What do you think of that? Brilliant. All right. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all we have time for right here on Sharoof. We will see you next time. Same bat time, same bat channel on Sharoof. See you next time. We got a nice harmony going there. Did you hear that? What? We got a nice harmony going there. Well, we try to get one, two, three. Sha 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 sha. Beautiful. Brilliant.